All right, my rabbit friends, time for another fantastic, valuable, invaluable. What's the difference between valuable and invaluable? Huh, these terms, I gotta figure these things out. But until then, let's do some Revit. Today, we're gonna talk about default sill height for windows, okay? And um, so let's get right into it. I want to, oh, well, sometimes, let me just tell you first. Sometimes I place um, windows in the plan view and I just toss them in and those windows pop in and they're just like at three feet or two feet or whatever set in the family. And then I have to adjust them and fix them to the height that I wanted them, say one eight or two feet high, whatever. Anyway, there is a way in Revit to preset, set your sill height so that every time you place the window, it actually goes in at the right height and you don't have to go set it. Let me show you how that's done. All right, so here we go. Let's start off with, <clears throat> let's go to our floor plan, okay? Not edit the floor plan, open the floor plan. There we go. Okay, so, Let's look for a wall that needs some windows. Mm -hmm, this one's already got windows. So how about, let's just say this building is a lot longer. Whoa, there we go. Now we've got a place to put some windows. Okay, so what I wanna do <clears throat> right here, if I pick on this window and I hit CS on my keyboard, that's create similar, it puts the that window on my cursor so that I can place it. Now, before I place it, you might look over here and you'll see the sill height is going in at three feet. That's the default sill height set for this window. It's the three foot by five, four window, okay? Now, if I wanted to place it in at a different sill height, I could. I could place one at two feet, okay? Bam. And I could click on here and I could place one at one foot. There we go. But if I went about my business and I was doing some other stuff and then I came back and I wanted to place some more windows, as soon as I click one and I hit create similar, it's going to go in at the default cell height. Even if I pick the one that's at two, one foot, look, create similar. It's going in at the default cell height, three feet. And I don't want that. I want it to go in at a preset cell height that I have set so I don't have to click on these and go back and set it to one foot eight enter see I don't want to go back and reset them because this is what you get let's go to the elevation and let's pull this over so we can see them yeah we don't want this we don't want um, windows wherever they want to go and we don't want to have to click on each one or select all of them and set them. We want them to go the first time to the right height. So setting the default sill height is important to us. Ding! Okay, so here we go. Let me just delete these guys really fast here for us. Mm-hmm, gone. I'll pick this near one. It's the three foot by five, four, okay? You click right here, edit type. And the pro type properties pop up. And if I scroll down to the bottom, wait for it. There it is. Look at that. Default sill height is set at the bottom right there. Yay. I can set that at one foot eight. Okay. Say okay. Okay. I heard you say it. Now, when I go to place one, watch. I click on this one. doesn't matter what. I can pick on this one. It's it. Well, let me set it up to three feet so that you can see what I'm talking about. There, I picked that one. Aha. Uh -huh. Three feet, I said. Three. There we go. The sill height is set at three. If I hit create similar, like I'm going to go place another one, look at that. It's going in at one eight. Okay? And if I pick that one, I say create similar. It's going in at one eight. Okay, those are going in because I set the default sill height. You should do set the default sill height for each window type you have. Let's just say up on the second floor, you wanted these to be um, go in at a different sill height. 
then what we need to do, I'm going to come down here to families and go down to windows. And here's our double hung windows. Look at this. Let's just say I, these three O's, if I double click them down here in my properties, I mean, not my properties, my properties browser down under families. If I double click it, the properties come up. So the three O by five, four has a default sell height of one eight now. And my four O it has a default sell height of three, and I can set that to whatever I want. But let's say I'm putting three O's up on the second floor. Look what I can do. I can right click and I can duplicate, okay? And instead of it just being called two, I can change the name of it to be second floor, okay? So my second floor windows are the same height, but if I double click it, I can set their sill height to be different. Maybe those are supposed to be at three feet. Work with me here. See the ones on the first floor, ones on the second floor. It would probably be in my best interest to right click and rename this guy to actually be first floor. Okay. That way I can set the default sill height differently on the different windows and where they're located in the building. And so, and they can be set differently. So we've got first floor and second floor. So if I click on one of these guys, a first floor window and hit create similar, I know that it's going to be going in at the right cell height. Anyway, so click on this guy. <clears throat> Let's get back to me. Hey, there we go. Anyway, so you don't have to, but I suggest you set the default cell height before you place a whole bunch of windows in your project at the wrong height and then have to come back and edit them and move them to the right height. And it does make sense. If you've got different windows on the first floor than you do at the second floor, name them according to what floor they're on and set the appropriate default sill height for those windows so you don't have to go back and fix anything later. Because you know, minutes add up to hours. Mm -hmm. And it does matter. All right. I hope that tip helps you guys. Have a fantastic day and happy reveting.